Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Prefuse, or Prefuse, by Sereger. Difficulty, 6 out of 10. This is probably one of my easier maps, but it contains some smaller puzzles that I think are fun and tricky. So, in overall, I'm satisfied with the outcome. Also, I had to build the chamber around something. Some of you will probably figure out what it was. Have fun, and good luck. As always, feedback is welcome and appreciated. You can remove this little- this little word right here. The word in, that can just get tossed out and the sentence would be better. Anyway, let's get started with the actual map, instead of criticizing people's grammar. <laughs> welcome to the future. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Hey, I recognize this map. If you remember, this was an empty pit. That could not be portaled onto. And that leads to another map. I think you should know which one I'm talking about if you happen to watch the live stream where we played the map in question. Yep, that's familiar too. I don't remember if we could ever see back here. I might have no clipped and look at it, but uh... Yeah, I don't even know about this. I don't remember if I remember this or not. But it's cool to see that this is actually... a recreation. I don't know about that, though. That's a bit different. But yeah, we've got all these graded surfaces, and this is the only one that's not graded, and it was broken... in the other version. Let's go see what's in here, shall we? Although I'm not sure how we would get back out again. Can we see that portal surface from in here? No, we cannot. So, how do I get out of here? I guess I'm just in here now. <laughs> oh wait, what's that? Hey! What is that? Okay, I guess we can get out. Never mind. I thought I trapped myself. Interesting. I think we have to take stuff in here to do anything in here. Wait a sec, what does this do? Oh! Oh no! This is strangely familiar. This feels like... what was it? There was a... a map, I can't remember if it was by R3- Dash or Hanky Mueller or somebody else. But it was sort of like this. You know, I'm starting to feel like these Fizzler mazes... aren't too interesting to me. <laughs> I know I like Fizzler puzzles, but when you just boil down the entire puzzle to Fizzlers only, that's kinda... for some reason not too interesting to me. Anyway, let's get out of here and look at the other area, because I think... I think we can't do anything in here right now. Oh my gosh, let me shoot the portal. Thank you. Aha, here's a cube. And we have a whole lot more. Wait, what? Huh? Did that might not... what? I guess that's just a regular old door. Cause that's got the exit signage. Okay, so that's probably the actual exit, versus this just being a plain old door? Yeah, probably. And we got a laser to point there at some point with the li- wait, what? Why would we want to turn on the light bridge? I'm confused. And what does this button go to? Goes to the Fizzler, huh? Did you put these light strips here to, p to stop it from going into this side? Or maybe they were misbehaving some other way? I don't know, ant lines are known for misbehaving, so... We also have a place to clean off cubes, for some reason? That weird black water. Well, actually, no, it actually kinda looks like water over a black surface now. Maybe I was cleaned up at some point. Oh, there's a cube. Huh. You're telling me we need to get gel on that cube, then. Cause that's what it looks like. We need to bounce that cube out of there, it would seem. That is a nice blue. A nice, vibrant blue. This button without signage goes to the dropper without signage, to drop the cube without signage. Gotcha. Lots of portal surfaces in here. What do we want to do first? Can't do that right now. Can we do that right now? Hmm... What? What? 
Apparently this map has the greeting bug, so I'll have to be aware of that. <laughs> oh boy. Right, well. I can't see any way to get it into there, just yet. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? Of course I do. So all I gotta do is... that... and this. Well, sort of. There we go. It's in there now. Oh crap. <laughs> oh man, that's- that's pretty dumb of me. I like- I just got it on- I'm there, I gotta do the other portal first. There we go. Then we do this, and then we do that. Let's see. Go all the way up there, and... Then we would place... How would we do this, actually? We need gel in here, right? Huh. Alright. Let's take this somewhere else in that case. What about this? This does both gel droppers? Weighted cubes calibrated. Wait, what turns on the blue gel then? What? Alright, well, might as well get this everywhere, right? That's not too useful. What about here? Uh... Kinda? I guess? Not that- not the greatest in terms of usefulness. Huh. Alright, well let's take the cube into the other room in that case. Let's see what we can do in here. That turns that off. But if we remove that, we won't be able to take- oh yeah, we can do this first. Take it to the other side. And what does this side do, I wonder? Ooh, okay, so... Now, at this point, I think it's best if I just... Wait a moment. Now I am well and truly trapped. <laughs> oh boy. Uh huh. Well, gotta start over. Let's go get the cube again. That is quite punishing. Oh crap. Got the cube back. Let's go ahead and. Plonk it through here. Uh. There. <laughs> I'm too lazy to just walk over here like a normal person. So let's see, what does this other one do? This one did... this. Hmm. So how am I meant to do this in that case? In that regard? Clearly, this is one of the first steps we need to do, is take this off of here. Put it onto here. Do we, do we need to go back and stand on the button again? Is that part of the deal? Perhaps... Well, that's a lot more fizzler off than I had before. But... Doesn't actually seem to be that helpful. I don't want to move that cube into here, right? Let's- let's put this cube back. Let's put it back. Maybe I just need to stand on this button. Oh, you are kidding me. Get on the button. There we go. What if I just stand here? Nope. Not too useful. Is there another cube somewhere that I'm not- not seeing? Maybe. Maybe there's a cube that I'm not seeing. This one? 
But we already established we can't turn on the bounce shell yet, didn't we? What would I ever use this for, I wonder? This might be... another anti-trapping thing. Like, if you somehow get the cube to fall off the button and have a portal there and... there, I don't know. Somehow. But how do we get this bounce shell to turn on? Cause it doesn't seem like we can use it at all. Right? Oh, that's the wrong portal. Give me this. I said give me this, thank you. There's not an equivalent... ...button for this guy, right? There's not even any signage on it. And yet, it clearly seems to be the solution for this. It's even got a gel cleaning spot. This doesn't make much sense, actually. Oh, what is that for? I didn't even see that! Huh. That's a whole other thing I didn't even notice. Maybe I do have to solve this... puzzle over here. Unauthorized Equipment. Yes, that's the name of the map I'm thinking of. This is- this reminds me of Unauthorized Equipment. My live studio audience reminded me of the name. Huh. Where did I put the cube? Not somewhere... helpful, probably. Yeah, I left it over there. <laughs> Just cause I'm lazy. Can I grab it through here? No, okay. <laughs> Not lazy enough, evidently. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I'm all sorts of confused today, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> See, grab the cube, walk through here, put it on the button. What if we put it on this button first? This doesn't seem too helpful, really. Because if I walk over here and stand on this, then this is there's a t turned on, and I can't do anything about it. Interestingly, I can walk through this little gap, although I'm not sure it's intended. I don't think it's helpful anyway. So clearly this is not a useful way to do things. Because in order to move the cube somewhere else, like I shoot portals all day long, but as soon as I walk through the stizzler to move the cube, then we have issues. And this lizard doesn't turn off except for by that button. But this one only turns off from that button. It's like I need a third cube, but I can't get a third cube because the gel dropper's off. Well, people have completed it. And it hasn't been updated, so obviously it's completable. There's a laser cube somewhere? I didn't even notice that. Where do we get a laser cube at? Right, right, that laser cube, right, the... I guess that must... What is this dropper? Where is this area? Is there a whole area of this map that I'm not even seeing? Hold on a sec here. I don't think there's anything over there, right? That's just the exit, we would just bounce ourselves over there. I bet it's through this door, but we need two cubes to get through here. How do we turn on the bounce gel? I'm so confused. I am so confused right now. Nothing much else in here. I can't make this jump, right? 
that is- that doesn't seem like a jump that can be made. But I could try. We need more gel off the front lines. I don't think I can make this jump, though. Nope. Definitely cannot make that jump. Huh. Oh, that was... strange. I think we discovered that in a Dr. A map. I thought I heard, like, something turning in the distance, like a portal gun turning. I might have imagined it, though. That looks interesting, the overlapping crisscross. But I am really at a loss right now. I... I don't see how to proceed. And this definitely needs two things to open it, like, I can't just put the cube on one of them and have the door open. That wouldn't make much sense. Yep. And I can't get regular old speed gel on here, that wouldn't help at all. What activates... the gel dropper? It doesn't have any signage. Does anything turn it on, ever? Am I just being dumb, or is there no way to proceed and somehow people have completed the map? Louis Bappa says they enjoyed it. Huh. It must- it must be... possible to beat in that case. Yep, so that turns this off, but I don't really see how that's very helpful. I... think I'm gonna stop here for a moment, and try and figure things out. I'll be right back. Alright. Uh, I think I found a potential solution. Maybe I need to slide this cube and then quickly walk onto that button, because if you all remember, this button turns off that fizzler. Of course, then once I've actually done that, I'd have to respawn that guide, and then, uh, I don't really know what to do after that. This is really... Confusing me, to say the least. So, let's see here. And walk on the button. Yeah! Holy crap. Did it make it? Oh, yes, it made it. I can't believe that worked. That was actually amazing. Right, so, now we have it in here. Now what? I guess I can put this guy back, right? Now I've done that, I can move this guy... over here? Uh... I don't see how this helps me, actually. Huh. Cause these are my only two cubes right now. I have to walk all the way back over here... if I wanna do... I wanna turn that off. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, where would I even go from here? There's nowhere to go with these cubes. guy through here. There's no way to coat this guy in gel. Yeah, that's just the fizzler. Huh.
Well, I'm back to the drawing board. <laughs> Alright, let's start from scratch, because I think I figured something out. Let's put this guy... here. Walk all the way down here. And this guy... You need to do this. Get him through to the other side. Right about here. That's good. Then, we can walk through, put a portal there, put a portal here. Clear the cube, get it to land on there. Might take a few attempts, because that likes to fall off the button a lot. I don't know how it landed on the button the first time. But, uh... Somehow it landed on the button just fine one time. Not really sure how. Might have to... Might have to go give it some help in a moment here. If this continues. Alright, well. I'm gonna go manually help this cube. I'm gonna perform a manual override on this dropper. There we go. Manual override performed. Right, so now that we've done that... We can go back through this portal... And move this guy... Over to this button. Ta-da! And then... We can go... and move him... move our portal here. There we go! That's the piece of information I was missing. See, it's stuff like that that's really simple, but sometimes I just can't see it. I actually... almost... like, I, I called for backup, because Libby Bapa had played for this map, so I called Libby Bapa for backup. And they were in the process of replaying the map to get a refresher when I figured this out. So I almost got a hint from them, but didn't. The only hint I really got was that I needed to do this area first. Right, so now we gotta get out of here with the cubes. Which I think I can do by just swapping the cubes, and then I can respawn the other guy. So let's put this here. Put this guy here. There we go. And... now we can get out of here. Excellent! Uh, yeah. That was a good- that was a good Fizzler Maze. I call it Fizzler Maze because, uh... It's- it's kinda like a maze to me. There's a lot of different things you can do, and a lot of dead ends. Right, so. We have this guy now. What does this do? Turn on the light bridge for some reason? Not entirely sure why we would want to do that, but we can do it now. Let's go get our regular cube back. Regular cube, hello! I don't know how to do that, still. That's still a mystery to me. But, let's go through this door. Which I think... should be this area, probably, which we haven't seen yet. Fine. <laughs> Interesting. I guess these light bridges- oh no, that- that actually has signage. So that's just, like, to avoid using a different fizzler. Oh! What do we have here? If I had to guess, we might want to use a null portal. Also, we'll want to deal with that at some point. What is this about? Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. What if... What if I save here? Um... Um... Okay then. <laughs> I wish I knew if there was like a trigger or an int fire that I could do to update all cubes or something. Let's see here. I only need the light bridges to turn off temporarily. There we go. And then, I can shoot this portal from the other way. Oh, but that's not nearly long enough, so... Hey! Perfect! So basically, I just used the portal orientation to rotate the cube. We have a portal surface back here. Excellent. What does this do? Oh! So that's what turns on the bounce gel. Well, it, 
There was no signage on the Bounce Jail dropper, so I thought that the map was broken. Maybe that needs to be fixed. I would like to have signage there in the future. So this is just a mini puzzle, we don't need to take anything out of here. I don't think there's any way to turn this fizzler off, so... Yeah, goodbye cube, it was nice knowing ya. That was the only reason we needed to go in there. Kind of a weird use of a little area like that. So now... Ah yes, we have the gel bombs. Gel bombs for days! I'll save on that account. Actually, let me get this furthest to the right that I can. Let's see. Let's go ahead and jump across. Whee! So really now we just need a third cube, and I know exactly where to get a third cube. Question is... How do we do that, rigmarole? What's this light bridge for, of all things? Like, I can get myself up there, pretty easily. Well, no I can't, actually. I can get... I don't even think I can get a cube up there, cuz... Cuz the cube shouldn't be able to go through the light bridge. Yeah. I could go through the light bridge, but the funnel will just push me out. Do I need to do this trick again? I'm pretty sure this is, like, not intended, really. Oops, nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. And then the issue here... Is that as soon as I- as soon as I place a portal... The sizzler turns on, so like... I would need to already have the bounce gel, but... How would I do that? Cause that cube can't just stay there. What is the light bridge for? And what is any of this for, really? I have... an idea... maybe. But I don't know what the light bridge is for. Kind of. Uh, let me try something. Oh no you don't! You're staying inside, sir. So what happens if that gel bomb collides with the light bridge, I wonder? That happens. Okay, that's not quite what I was hoping for. But... Better plan... How long is this, actually? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six... Versus... One, two, three, four, five, six... Wow, that's a very tight squeeze. That can't be right. So I can't loop the... I can't, like, get the gel... ...to be... Ah, I need to time this right. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> like, it's so close, you might think it would work, but... What is the light bridge for? That's what confuses me. Huh. Let's, let's just turn it off for now, because the light bridge is light bridge is throwing me off. So 
go ahead and get this in here again. Oh, I see, but I don't know what the light bridge is for. No! You jerk! I was so close! That was like totally it. Ah. Uh, crap. <laughs> Where did I save? Let's try this again. Now that I know that I don't have much of a time requirement- Oh, and I forgot about that, yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh... I need to figure this out, though. Cause that's... That's gonna- that's gonna bother me. Like, I feel like the way I got that in there is pretty gimmicky, so let's get it back out. Let's see if we can figure out a more proper way to get it in there. Figure out what the light bridge is for. I don't know what the light bridge is for. I can't really set the cube down and have it not fall out. And like, I don't wanna toss it over there. That would be... bad. I'm gonna get the Jill off of there. Huh. Like, I sort of have an idea of what to do, but I don't know what in the world to use... ...unless... No, that still doesn't seem right. So what am I supposed to do then? Well, that was a mistake. There we go. I don't know. What would the light bridge be for, then? It's like, even though I put the cube in there, that just blocks- I don't know what the light bridge is for, we're gonna- I'm gonna ignore it. And... We're gonna put this thing in there. We're gonna do it... my way. Here we go. Perfect. Right, so... Whatever. Now... We do this... Crap. <laughs> Wrong portal. There we go. There we go. Give me my cubes. No! The cubes! Which one is this? This is the orange one. Okay, I can get the blue one back then. What?! Are you guys- What is up with that? How did it drop two cubes at once? What? How does that- And they both counted. That's interesting. Well, at least- at least you can press it again to fix that. 
I guess the B-Mod ones are slightly more resilient, but how did that happen? I've never seen a B-Mod dropper drop two cubes at once. Right, so now we got that out of there, now we just gotta walk in and pull it out. So... Gotta do this rigmarole again. So let's see here. There's that. And then we just walk in and grab that. Gimme that. Too lazy to walk. We have three cubes now! Hooray! Excellent. So, now we should just make our way to the exit, I believe. Right, and I need to put the jail splat there again. Eh, close enough. Oh no you don't. So. Let's put a portal here. I'll take one across. Whee! Put this one... here. Put a portal here. Grab the other two. And we should be out of here soon. With most of the map broken, probably. I don't know. I think I broke the map in a, at least one way. I don't know what the light bridge is for. I really do not know what the light bridge is for. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I this really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another Assumes video. Goodbye. No, I haven't. If you have, in fact, not, you are encouraged. I am not encouraged.